Yeah, 2020 is about just a, I don't know, just having positive vibes. I mean, it was really supposed to be like that 2019 too, but I think 2019, I was like more, I was like chilling a little bit. Yeah, I was basically chilling, but. So she says basically um, I was chilling when she was just saying that 2020 is about all positive vibes. 2019, 2019 was supposed to be like that, but really 2019 I was chilling. What? What does that even mean? I wanna shout out to my sponsors, man, carmarshall.com. Everybody who has been clicking the link in the description and the pinned comment, thank you guys so much. Type in your zip code if you're looking for a newer used car or if you just wanna help support me, go ahead and click the link in my description down below or in my pinned comment. Make sure you type in the zip codes around you and the zip code that you're in and click on the prices, the dealership prices, man. They will help you negotiate. You don't have to do any of that. And you can also support me a step further. And also I do appreciate everybody who just clicks on my videos, whether you leave me love or hate. I appreciate you guys so much because you're contributing to the channel. And like I said, man, shout out to my sponsors, carmarshall.com. They will help you get in the newer used car that you've always wanted, okay? What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Well, back. Twitter, mother forget video. Yo. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just be like <laughs> Let's not go too soon now. I feel the same. And a lot of girls hate it right now. Hey. <laughs> I would rather pass that one to you. And today, baby, y'all already know what the fuck going on in this goddamn video. So you guys wanted me to do a part two to this Queen Nyjah Illuminati conspiracy slash spiritual video, okay? So in the previous video, if you have not seen it, she seems very sad and very depressed. When you get in the industry and shit like that, you know, it really separates you from the things that matter. Let's go ahead and get into the post notification shout outs for this video. They are going to go to It's Lisa Baby. Melonia Turner and Miss Carrie Elizabeth, thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on and for also leaving me love in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Also right below this video, man, you will see the Diamond Life, Diamond Dynasty, baby, merch, man. Everybody who has already purchased, thank you guys so much. And everybody who is about to cop today, thank you guys as well. Also make sure you go to the link in my description down below and go subscribe to my spiritual channel, man. And if you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video to friend hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video make sure that you DM me at the real diamond M and my backup page at the real diamond M M let me know what I should be reacting to next and tell a friend to tell a friend I said I ain't your mom and tell they uncle Joe that nigga still a hoe let's get right into this motherfucking video let's get it y'all yeah 2020 <clears throat> for me is all about just like uh improving on myself Working harder, um, yeah, definitely working harder, y'all. And just, I guess, like any, like anything negative, like just kind of, what's it called? <laughs> I see what a gospel album. Is. Yo, I do want to do a gospel album. That would be dope. I'm going to do it, like, one one day. Comment below the number seven if Queen Nyjah should do a gospel album. Let me know in the comment section down below. Let her know, just in case she does run across this video. Hit the number seven, man, if Miss Queen Nyjah should come out with a gospel album. Can somebody just remind me what did I like? What did I just say? Because I forgot what I was talking about. <clears throat> you said you want to let go of negative. And I, I you swear, said. I think I have like <clears throat> ADD or something. I can't like. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, 2020 is about just a. I don't know. Just having positive vibes. I mean, it was really supposed to be like that 2019 too, but I think 2019 I was like more, I was like chilling a little bit. Yeah, I was basically chilling, but I'm ready to work, work, work. It seems like her thoughts are like kind of everywhere, you know, like 
It seems like she has a million and one thoughts right now. She can't keep the right track of mind because she totally switched the subject, okay? I know I do that too. But the way that I'm talking about that she just did, it's kind of like she deflected what she was about to say, either because she didn't want to say it or because of her mind just took a different course of action. Let me know if y'all understood what she was talking about there, but let me go back just a little bit so y'all can hear what she just said. I have like... ADD. <laughs> I can't like. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, 2020 is about just a. I don't know. Just having positive vibes. I mean, it was really supposed to be like that 2019 too, but I think 2019 I was like more. I was like chilling a little bit. Yeah, I was basically chilling. But so she says basically, I'm, I was chilling when she was just saying that 2020 is about all positive vibes, 2019, 2019 was supposed to be like that, but really 2019 I was chilling. What? What does that even mean? It doesn't even make sense. So either she was just trying to not say what she was about to say or her mind just went on a different track. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what you think happened there. But I'm ready to work, work, work. I'm ready to work, work, work this year. I'm excited. It almost seems like somebody or something or something went off in her that was like, no, don't speak about that. Speak about working because, you know, that's what you need to do is work, work, work. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like somebody is submitting information for her to say, kind of, you know, that shit is crazy. I'm mm. so excited. <laughs> as soon as I go take care of what I need to take care of this weekend. This is very odd, y'all. Very After strange. that, it's a wrap, y'all. It's a, it's a wrap. Very, very strange. My eyelashes just... Something is not registering here, and there's a lot the queen wants to say, but she feels like she cannot say, okay? Sitting here. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that, yeah. I just want to encourage anybody who's having, like, a rough time of... Uh, finding not finding a purpose but just get back to your purpose i'm just i'm just here to let y'all know i'm going through the same thing so don't feel alone You're still human too um just like you it's a fact okay mm -hmm. all right i just know what you're going through listen i'm not going through nothing abnormal like <laughs> okay yeah everyone goes to shit like that yeah 2019 it wasn't like a bad year but like it was it was it was a it was just a a low year. Get an interior designer. You see what I mean? Like it'd be so much to worry about. Mm -hmm. Like I gotta worry about this finishing design of my house, finishing this album, freaking keeping my kids in school. I'm trying to find a church home. I'm trying to keep doing my youtube videos i'm trying to get a new it's just like it'd be so much content that's why it's important to slow down and meditate or pray or whatever it is man like just do something that will slow yourself down okay and a lot of times you feel like you don't have enough time but you should always make time everything will be there whenever you open your eyes okay from that prayer or that meditation or whatever it is don't get up from that prayer or that meditation until you feel like that desire or whatever it is that you're praying for has already been done if I get up from my meditation knowing, visualizing that I'm already at the end result and already feeling those emotions and already feeling like, okay, what's the next step? Now I've achieved this, you know, and it actually brings it in to the realm of possibility. If y'all have been watching Queen for a while, she has been looking for a home church for I don't know how long. I'm gonna tell you this. I maybe last year went to church maybe three times, okay? I feel like church can be wherever you are. You do not have to go to a place surrounded by other people, which is great if you want to go do that. But I feel like that is a personal thing that you can do amongst friends, amongst strangers, by yourself, in solitude. At the end of the day, it all comes back to unconditional love. Like, yo. It's a lot.
And that's why sometimes I really... Yeah. Yeah, when you when you like listen to when you on social media it's tough because like you listening to everyone else's opinions like from everywhere. Do this, do that, no, do this, do that, do that. That's not healthy. It's really not. That's why you have to know what's best for you. You have to be on your own purpose. Because I, like I said in less, yesterday's video, man, God's mission and purpose is different for everybody, okay? So if you are on your purpose, if you are doing everything in your power to help serve the world and help raise the world's vibrations, you know, spread love, be love, then nobody's opinions will really even fucking matter, will they? No. They will only matter if you know that you're not giving it your all to contribute to the world, to serve like you should be. That's the only way that you will feel some type of way. Because if you are on your mission and you know what you're doing and you know that you're changing lives, helping people, then why would an opinion of someone else who's probably doing a lot less than you and judging you, why would their opinion even matter? Why would you allow that opinion to hold any weight? There's no value in that opinion, you know? Like when you see it, like you just like, that's why Nobody. when I get back into locking y'all, I think I'm going to do like a little social media blackout. I've already cut Twitter off, which is good. Actually, that's been amazing. That's one thing I can say. Um, I do not be on Twitter or Facebook. Yes, you, <laughs> you're right. You don't have to listen to everyone's opinion, but... Barely on Instagram. Seeing it, um... Seeing it could like, yeah, it could mentally drive us. Well, either don't look at your comments, turn your comments off, find your own peace, you know? And I feel like, yeah, comments can get to you and people's opinions can get to you and things of that nature. But when you see the bigger picture, when you understand your purpose and your mission, that's what I'm saying, man. It really doesn't matter what anybody has to say. And that's why I know that Queen is off of her purpose. You know, no disrespect to Queen, and I really hope that she does get back on her purpose because, you know, it's seriously important for everybody to be on their purpose, you know. But I feel like Queen in general, she has so much potential to change the world, especially the youth and stuff like that. And the powers that be, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, they know that, okay? They know that, and because they know that, they're not wanting Queen to preach that positivity. They don't want Queen to preach about God or any of that, you know what I'm saying? And so if she decides to go along with that agenda, which is the opposite of what she believes in, then of course comments are going to make her feel bad. Of course, when you truly know your purpose and you're on your mission, nobody's opinion matters but your own. Okay, really you don't even have an opinion at all. You're just serving, you're contributing, you're adding fucking value to other people's lives and to the world as a whole in general, you know? It doesn't matter. So queen, get on your purpose. If you're worried about your finances and how successful you'll be, if you just go and talk about God and do your own thing, just know that you can still be as successful or even more without their help. It might take a little bit longer and you might have to go through different challenges, obstacles, struggles, but that makes it all the more worth it. You can access certain things in your subconscious mind and reprogram your subconscious mind to accept the correct beliefs the beliefs of success and the amount of money that you want, finances and all of that. You can manifest all of that. And I feel I feel really bad for a lot of these celebrities because they are bamboozled into believing that they have to sell their soul and do something strange for a little piece of change in order to succeed. You don't. You can be 100% independent, still be a millionaire, whatever you want to be, but it all starts with reprogramming your subconscious mind to accept the beliefs that are going to 
catapult you into the life you want to create. Because a block button is too much. I could, all the time I'm doing freaking blocking people, I could be doing some else. <laughs> okay. I do agree that it's great to take time off of social media. Stop following other people, okay? Stop following other people and follow God. Follow your purpose. Follow your intuition. We're so busy following the next person, trying to be the next person, wanting what the next person has, that we have forgotten what our own spirit is guiding us and telling us what we need to do next. We're so busy following others that we forget to follow our own internal guidance system. Why are you worried about following others when you should be following your purpose? Your purpose should take top priority over what anybody is posting. Why don't you post some shit that's gonna help people? Why don't you post some shit that's gonna serve the world? Follow less people and start following God and following what's already in you. It's inside you, everything that you desire, everything that you want, everything that you need is within you. Your spirit knows, God knows exactly what you need and what you want. I don't feel like singing right now. Look, me to take a break. I'm so excited, y'all. So I don't feel like singing, but I'm so excited. There's a lot of things that contradict what she be saying on this live. What she's saying on this live is really not adding up. I will say this, man. I feel like a lot of the reason why these celebrities get depressed and they're very sad and shit like that is because, like I said um, earlier in this video, man, they get bamboozled into thinking that they have to sell their soul, which selling their soul doesn't mean here, take my soul, Foop, like that. But it literally means like, you know, you're going against your morals, you're promoting a specific agenda that is going to be taking away from the minds of our youth. And, you know, you're doing things that you just, you know, they go against your morals. They go against your moral code and everything that you believe in. That's what selling your soul is. And I believe that, you know, they get sad and depressed because they sell their souls for riches and fame, sign this contract, only to find out later most of the time that you can still attain that level of success, even money, the relationship that you want, the lifestyle that you want, through your subconscious mind. <laughs> Imagine never knowing about the power of your subconscious mind, never knowing about how to meditate and create and visually rehearse, mentally rehearse things to actually manifest them into reality. And you are programmed to believe that the only way that I'm gonna make it is if I sell my soul to be in the industry. I wanna be the next Cardi B, I wanna be the next Beyonce, I wanna be the next whatever it is. And you think that you have to sell your soul to attain success. You know what I'm saying? And it's so sad because you can attain success from within, from the God within you, from the God within everything all around us. I'm not really good on my TikTok stuff though. Like after, like once I start- Everybody's getting um, on TikTok now. Once I like get back on and start promoing and stuff, I'm really about to get on this TikTok thing. The only thing is just like, I don't be, dancing like that so i'm not about to be on there trying to dance like everybody and if i do make myself look stupid <laughs> i even want to do when i ran into the u.s do you feel the need to get protection for ourselves i need to educate myself more before i even speak on that I feel you on that because I don't know how I feel like going it's on like, in the world. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I know I my know. connection with God, and I'm gonna be. All I feel right. like it's all supposed that. to happen, truthfully. Yes, absolutely. It sucks. It's sad. I mean, it's innocent. It's it's just not fear. Like it's like only the innocent people, only the poor people, only the people that really don't have a choice have to deal with it, and it's just not fair. But this is the world we live in, y'all, so. I don't know, just stay prayed up, I guess. And if you keep God first, I'm talking to myself too, and we would have really nothing to worry about. It's still sad though. 
that's really all I need to hear, man. I'm glad she ended the live off like that. I really am. And I know a lot of people are frustrated with Queen because she seems like she goes back and forth and back and forth. And she does contradict herself a lot, as I said in this video. However, man, I got love for everybody. And I want everybody to succeed. I want everybody to just get the things that they want in life to be fulfilled from the inside out, just to be loved. I really do. And whenever I meditate and pray, I pray for you guys. I pray for each and every one of you guys. I pray for my enemies, if I have any. You know, I don't really consider having any enemies, but if I did, I pray for people who have done me wrong. I pray for, you know, I pray for everybody. Strangers that I haven't even met yet, you know what I'm saying? And that's the point, man. At the end of the day, like I said, all there is is love. And I know for some that could be a difficult concept to embrace, but we really are, you know, all connected. We are. And what affects one person trickles down. So if I can affect somebody in a positive way, then I know maybe that person can go somewhere and show love to somebody or use a positive word of encouragement to help somebody else. I wouldn't be sitting in front of this camera without you guys. It would make no sense to talk to myself, okay? If there was no you guys, there would be no me. So once again, man, I appreciate you beautiful people for watching this video, man. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Pray for Queen, pray for everybody, man. Pray for the people who have done you wrong. Pray for, you know, just the world as a whole. You know, raise the vibrations of love, and I promise you, none of that other shit will matter, like Queen said, okay? Love you guys so much, man. If you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Share this video with a friend, hit that bell, so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real Diamond M and my backup page at the real Diamond M M. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend and tell a friend today, ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe? That nigga's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. Here we go.